Well, I'm back out at the construction site again with all that awesome fill dirt with the XP Deus high frequency coils. A few more hunts, evening hunts, and some incredible stuff coming out of the ground. Hope you enjoy this one. And back out to the fill. Just filled it all the way back to the back. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I did this here too. Smooth this out here. Hmm. Hmm. It's a weird one. Ninety. That's a good one. see it. It looks like it might be an Indian. Hmm, that's an Indian. And on the board. Boy, that is crusty. It's not that bad. I think it's an Indian. I think I see the headdress. That's an Indian. All right, I'm on the board. Man, that is a rough looking Indian. 1907 Indian head penny in terrible condition. It's a ring. That's cool. Hmm. It might be silver. It had a stone in it. Huh. That's cool. Costume jewelry ring. Old. Very old. Nice. That's got to be coin. Maybe not. Oh, what is that? It is a coin. Oof. Oh, smokes. That is in terrible condition. It's a big old coin ball. Oh, let it dry a little bit. I can already see the patina. It's so light. Completely toasted matron head. Probably another 18, 20s, teens matron. You can see the bust facing left right there. This thing is complete toast. <laughs> hmm. It's good now. Ooh, it's a large scent. What? No way. Oh, I think I know what this is. This is a British. No, it's a French one, isn't it? Like a 10 cent teams or something. It's huge though. It's actually in good condition. Hmm. I think it's French. It's one of those French large scents. Yep. I think it's exactly what it is. 1855. Looks like a Napoleon III French. French coin. It is Dix centimes. Sounds better, but
Ooh, it's a bullet. Man, that's a long three ringer. What the heck? Actually, that's an infield. Hmm. Yeah, it's an infield. That's cool. It's a long infield. I'll take a look at the closer look at that at home. Infield bullet. Peculiar looking infield bullet. Looks like it's dropped. It's very narrow, very long and narrow. I don't know what kind of Confederate button that is, but it's long and narrow. Something in there, but I guess I didn't get it all the way. What? No way. There's no way that's it. It's a pin. What? Old pin. Something on it. Mm. There's something on it. Here's this pin, AWH on the top, and then RC down here at the bottom, and there's angel's wings, or wings, I should say, I don't know. Red, like porcelain or some kind of uh, enamel on it. It's all there. Don't know how old this is, or even what that stands for. bullet oh look at that's that big old bullet it's the same one I just found it's another one that's an infield man it's a long one yeah it's another one it still has the it's on the bottom why is it that's weird that's really, really weird. Really cool though. Huh, two of them. Here's another one of these long and narrow Confederate buttons. Um, you can see the cast mold on the side. It's a drop bullet, drop infield bullet. Very much Confederate. Back back. Using the elliptical today, baby. I think that was it. Right here. What the heck is that? That's weird. That's it. It's not it. It's this right here. Hmm. And that. Broken. Piece of something. Got an edge to it. Hmm. Yeah, I'll look at it later. Hmm. I don't know. Could be something. This ended up being an old luggage tag. You can see OSS Company. That's Ocean Steamship Company from Savannah. It's a local 
uh, steamship company in, in Savannah. It was founded in 1875. Nice. Can you leave? Ninety-one. That's a large scent right there. I'm pretty sure about that. Yep. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yep. Awesome. That tends it. So here is this large scent. It looks to be a matron head. And I think I can barely make the date out. I had to clean this up. This thing turned out to be in such bad shape. But you can see Liberty right here in the headdress. And the bus is facing left. It, it was an 18... It looks like it's an early 1800s, maybe 1818 or something. Um, coin backside is pretty toasted as well. You can still see one cent though. It's toasted large cent. Back at the site, it has rained quite a bit. And so there may be some marbles and what have you that have washed up here. Let's see. And this, that right here, it's a dog tag. Yep, old dog tag. I suspect not that old, but <clears throat> I don't know. Dog tax. Oh, that could be old. Oh, CS. Dude, that's old. Holy smokes. Oh, yeah, that's going to be really old. We gotta... Yeah, the one I found was old too. I sold one years ago for uh, $200. It's the guy, one of the authors that makes the tag. I did too. Everything. Yeah, from, from Kentucky, Paducah. Yeah, he's... Yep. He's got my, I got a, I got a one I found, it was uh, 1869, one of the first ones in okay. Savannah. I don't know what it is yet, I got a... Oh, okay. That's awesome. I love dog tags. Any kind of tags for that matter. CS on the top. Dog tax, that's always you know that's old. Oh, I think it says 1918. Okay. That's sweet, turn the century. Good find. I think it is. Hard to say. Well, it might be 17. Luck. Huh? Jamie, have any luck? I think it's 1918. Uh, he had some things. He has to clean them up. Everything I found out here needs to be cleaned up. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. It's rough. City of Savannah dog tax tag 652 from 1918. Very cool. Let's see what that is. Ninety. Sounds good. What do we got? Hmm. Well, that's interesting. It's brass. Some kind of tag. Ooh. Definitely something on it. Looks like someone's head. Hmm. Hmm. I'm done. I 
Huh? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's some kind of. It's cool. Could be cool. cool. It could be cool. I'm not sure. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah, that's what you're saying. That could definitely be something. Or... Could be. Could be junk. Could be awesome. There's something on it, but I don't know. I have to clean it. It's crusty. It's heavy. Yeah, solid brass. Huh. Interesting. I know. Never seen one. Looks like there's something right there. Right where the crust is at. Yeah. Cool. But I don't know. I don't know how old it is either. So here is this brass. I don't know what you want to call this picture possibly. You can see the face right here and the head with a hat on. The silhouette or the actually it's a portrait looks like of a guy. It looks like Abe Lincoln in my opinion. Here's his eyes, his mouth, there's a beard, and there's a hat up here. And you can see I'll do a little close-up of the outline of this amazing piece it's all in the metal i don't know what this is it was so gunked up when i found it if anybody knows what this might be some kind of old photograph kind of thing i don't know but it's very cool and you can see it looks like a soldier a civil war soldier i'm assuming it's probably in that date range, the 1850s. Um, it looks old. Here's the back. It had a, a bunch of crust on it. It was nailed to something <laughs> or fastened somehow. Anyway, anybody has any information on this thing, let me know, comment below. Pretty good signal, loud bullet. It's another bullet. Ooh, that's an infield. Nice. Uh, I don't know. That's hard to say. I think I got an infield. I think I got an infield. I think so. It's a fat. It's a fat one, but it's hard to tell because it's. I've gotten. I got two over there a couple nights ago, three nights ago, whatever. It's an infield, for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's smooth. Nice. Have to clean the I think bullet. it's a drop too. Here's another infield bullet. It's a shorter and fatter one. I'll show you the other other two here in a minute. You can see to compare the differences. You can see how much longer the first two were than this third one. It's real fat and short. They're all dropped. Man, what the heck's that gonna be? Ow. It's another. I got a silver, I think. I think I got a dime. A coin. Some sort. Hold on a second. This is definitely a crust, crusty, crusty coin. Holy smokes. Look at the green on there. 
This is an old coin. I'll clean this later. The crust is actually going to protect it. That's fine. So this is a silver coin. It's some kind of pence. Um, it's not a dime. It's not American. I believe it is a British sixpence maybe. The date would have been probably right where that hole is and you really can't see the date but I think it's I don't know whatever it says I think it's a, a pence of some sort it was really junk like it was bad there you go you got a round edge right there oh yes it's in good shape too actually I, got, I can read details I think but it's slick hold on I did see some details on it oh yeah you don't have some deets barely I don't think there's much at all I see some like some outline Oh, uh, that's KG, I think. See the outline of George, I think. Yeah, I think that's where it is. There's definitely something on it. I got the D. Yep, that's KG. The edges look KG. It looks KG. That's cool. Got some old stuff in here, at least. Well, it's a KG, King George the Third. There's the hair tie over here. This is the bus facing right. This side is gone. <laughs> Slick. Uh, I see something pretty ugly. What is that? I don't think that's it though. Nope. Ooh, it's round. Thank you. I think I got another coin. Check it out. Ah. That looks like a good four. Yep, maybe. I'm gonna go with token. Yep, they won't ring in that low. Brass. Pour some Dr. Pepper on it. No, that's all right. Stickiness. Don't. It does don't. work. And don't. What you doing parking on the hot spot? I gotta get back in the house. Yep, this ended up being a token. A cool old, old token guys bowling or billiards good for five cents very cool button see a number or something on there first thought it was it is kind of a number but it It might be an RB button, dude. You know what? That could be. I don't know, though. It's hard to... That wreath is exactly like it. That's right. I yeah, it number, but it's... It could be an R. The top of the R. The Man, RB. that's going to be hard to clean off to tell the difference between the post and the... The RB buttons they used had the little line in between the little thing right here. Yeah. The, the, mm -hmm. You got to know the difference. That's going to be hard to clean. I think that's what that is, though. You got a silver? I think I got an R RB. I was kind of thinking. I think it's an RB button, but I'm not. I can't tell. The wrath looks exactly like it. You have to clean it. I think that's an RB button. Congratulations if it is. <laughs> that's awesome. This is Carrie's button cleaned up.
Republican Blues, or RB, script RB is what we call it, originally made for the Pennsylvania Brigade Reserves in 1860. So this was used during the Civil War by the Republican Blues, and it's Carrie's first RB button. Congratulations, Carrie. Awesome find. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. That seems to be in pretty good condition. You definitely see the O. New Orleans. Yep. Yeah, it's awesome. That's awesome. Ninety-four. Brass washing. That's a good hit right there. Night eighty-five sounds solid. Still in the hole. That's big. Is that it right there? I think it might be. Ooh, it's round. Look at that. Heck yeah. It's a button, I think. Oh yeah, it's got something on it. What in the... It's a button. It's definitely a button. Two-piece button, too, I think. Yeah. Hold on here. What the heck? What the what? I may be going home after this. Oh look. It's a guy riding a horse. You gotta be kidding me. Huh? Hold on, let me go wash this off. It's a guy riding a horse. Can you believe that? Oh, I see him, yeah. Well, sportsman's button. That's cool. Holy crap, look at that thing. Well, this button. Wow. Just look at the detail. Sportsman's button. It's a guy on a horse with a sword. And the horse is jumping a fence. Like an equestrian kind of thing, but he's got a sword in his hand. Very interesting. Big button too. Here's the back. Very nice, beautiful sportsman's button. with the chime here. I'm pretty sure that's silver. It's either that or half time. We'll see at home guys. I don't know. It's crusty. Man that thing's crusty. That's silver. Thank you Lord. So here's this chime. It's bad shape. 1850 something. I think it's probably a 53. Pretty common, 56, 57, 53. All those are real common trime dates for us here. Here's the back side of it. It's a trime. Pretty cool coin. Friends, remember to hit that like button. Bye now, and God love you.